Hello and welcome to another episode. In this one I'll be taking out the back bench seat because people have asked me and I've also had it on my list to do for a long time. But it's also an opportunity for me to test something else which I'll do or cover in the, the next episode after this one. So before you start you must take precautions. So you've got to disconnect the 12 volt battery negative terminal and pull the little tab that isolates the traction battery which I'll show you how to do. So before before I start taking the back bench seat out, it's best to take precautions because there are high voltage wires underneath and um, the actual proper instructions say disconnect 12 volt and disconnect the traction battery tab which is in there. Um, I've got a, a ring spanner which I've got to hand. I have got a ratchet and I could use that but I, I feel more comfortable using this because I don't want to break lugs off. Anyway, open your frunk, pull that off and then disconnect the negative terminal. that there then pull your two lugs together there and pull that off and then to disengage the traction battery pull that up like that and that's now completely off it's best to leave it for 20 or 30 minutes for any residual current to dissipate before you start working so I'll do that to remove the back bench seat uh, be aware that you might have heated seats and wiring under to detach also underneath but to start the process you lift it up on the corner and there are two kind of clips one there and one there they're all the way along and there's also a hook underneath there so once you pull it up on each corner you've got to pull it forward to get it out so like that and then walk around the other side around the other side there we go, now you can see underneath it, but you've got to pull it forward to get it off the hooks. See, just gentle with it one side till it loosens and it unclips now you can lift it and you can get at the uh, wiring for the heated seats and you just got to unplug those to actually get the seat bench out you've got to disconnect the heated seat controls um, just pop that stud fixer out there if you depress that pin there then the connector should come out like that Right, I pressed that and pulled, so I've got one side done. Now you've got the one on the other side as well. And that's a different kind of connector, so see if I can find the edge of that. Yeah, I think I got that. There, so I push that and then pull, it'll come out. And then hopefully there are no more wires that will come out yes and this is what you've got you've got the frame of the seat um, if you pull the carpet up you can see the maroon amplifier and some more padding on top that's the edge of it You've got your 13 amp vehicle to load socket, which has been fed off the ICCU, and the ICCU is under there. And the heated seat mechanism and the seat belts. This is the front of the seat. Uh, these are the clips which you've got to pry up to get the seat off. And then you've got these kind of hooks which you, um, you have to wobble out and pull the seat forward once you've got those undone. So that's how it all goes back together, the reverse of what you've just done. This is the back seat loosely connected. Um, I make sure that the seat belts um, sockets are all the way through and you can see under there I've plugged everything back in, the two connectors. Now um, that has got to go back 
on that, I think. Not moving. Just push it in. It's hooked, clipped, and everything's the way it should be. So job done. Um, I think I'm missing the middle seatbelt connector, so I've got to take it up again. under there that's the way it should be putting this together is the opposite of what you took off so push that back in which puts the traction battery connected again and then reconnect the negative 12 volt terminal Tighten it back up. Don't over tighten it. Put the cover back on and return this cover, fuse box cover, which goes in a special way like that. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.